Nicole Walter, President and CEO at HM Manufacturing. We are a manufacturing company. Uh, what we do is provide turnkey components for the food processing, beverage, packaging, medical, aerospace, automotive, mouthful. Uh, so tangible products for us are we make the machines for the uh, chicken big nuggets as well as the hamburger patties for McDonald's. Um, Who I finance, by the way. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> hey. uh, and Boeing as well. So um, I've been involved with the company since 2009. We are a second generational company and um, we went uh, from bankruptcy in 2010 to uh, over three million dollars in sales and also a sales office in Santa Barbara, California. Things that uh, also seems to come up a lot. I mean, you're all three leaders uh, in your industries. People often will wonder, maybe not even openly discuss, differences between how men and women lead. What are your thoughts on that? Have you observed? So it? many. Okay. Yeah. Good. yeah. <laughs> Where all right. Um, I'm going to add to that because I completely agree. I also think that we're better communicators. You know, I've seen my dad um, how he used to manage and it was just a mess um, and uh, when I came into the role I was very uh, I would delegate um, everyone had their divisions there's a reason why we hired these people my dad loves to micromanage I don't think we do I think we are also um, very aware of talent as women and um, we want to nurture that and grow that um, and and being able to, to say okay here's your tasks and what you're supposed to do and then meet with them later in the week or the day and see how far it's progressed and usually it's done by that time. Um, and I just think that we're just better communicators and um, that, that's, that to me is, is what we're so good at, multitasking and communicating. And also understanding that the more you give to someone, yeah, the better you get, yeah. The better you get because you can go do something else. Right. You can go and make yourself better. You can go make yourself more knowledgeable. If you give somebody else this, it doesn't mean they're going to take your job. It means they're going to do something for you. You're going to look better and you get to go learn something else and, yeah, and make yourself more valuable. And grow the business, right? Because if they right. start to take on what you're doing, you have more time to go do other things. Exactly. And that's what I've had to do. I mean, I, I seem to like keep hiring more and more interns and and um, I have an apprenticeship program because I, especially in the manufacturing field, we're just dying for skilled help and CNC machining. And so um, I go to a lot of the schools. I mean, I'm here today and there's no fire drills. I've looked at my phone, everything is fine. The company's still standing. Um, but you know, I, I hate to like bark on my dad, but my dad never really left the office. He never thought that, um, you know, there's a good saying like, you know, you have to work on your business by getting out of it. And uh, he always thought that that was the worst thing. So um, I've, I've done my part by going to these high schools that have manufacturing programs and trying to get these kids internships. And um, I'm fortunate enough that I have uh, two girls that are gonna start with me uh, next month in machining. And that's gonna change the dynamic of my facility because right now it's so male dominated. And so to have these girls and to be able to give them jobs afterwards, I'm super excited about. But, Going back to that same, same thing, you want people to be able to take on what you're doing so you can go do other things. Well, and with the male leadership style, what do you think the biggest challenge is for your generation of women in business? I don't see any. I just, I think the women now are getting stronger. They're more empowered. Um, Hannah is right there. Uh, she is one of my social media gals that started working with me, and she's a junior in high school, and um, her attitude is, is strong. And uh, I think that's, you know, it's always that glass ceiling, right? We always have to have women before us to start shattering little by little, and I feel like each generation starts to do that. Um, but I, I, I just don't, I don't see it anymore. I'm starting to see... Um, more women and men playing along better together. Like that old boys club in manufacturing is starting to dissipate, which is fantastic. Uh, you're seeing more women in manufacturing, more women on boards. Um, and it does go back to that lean in. How much do you really want to lean in? And I feel like girls these days, the younger ones, really want to lean in. Right? They really want the career. They really want to start making, um, be, like, be a bigger part of, of boards and um, start to have those uh, supervisor roles and um, really start to, to not make something of themselves, but really like push those boundaries. And, uh, and I, 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 that's what I start to see. Can I, can I say yes to that or no? Yeah? I'd say yes. Yeah. That's what I figured. 
Um, I, I guess one too. Um, you know, I just was on the uh, executive board for the TMA, which is the Technology Manufacturing Association, and uh, the past chairman, when everyone was going through uh, to figure out who they wanted on the board and kind of doing that, um, his thing was, well, I mean, my list is just all men. I didn't know women really wanted to be a part of this board, right? So I think it's making sure that women throw their hat, say, hey, I'm interested. I really want to be a part of this. Um, and yeah, like, like you were saying, you don't want to just be on just because you're a woman, but you also need to make sure that if you are interested to go ahead. Have a voice. Yep. Yeah. The worst thing voice. they can do if you ask is say, say no, big deal, move on. And yeah. then you ask about for the next one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. So do your companies have any opportunities like that where you're like seeking out people that are maybe underrepresented in your industry to help them kind of break their way into the industry? Yeah, I think I spoke about that earlier. I thank you for your question. I, I'm doing that. Um, so I go to a couple high schools. Lake Zurich is one of them, uh, McHenry High School. And um, any girl that's really interested in, in math or science or any kind of tinkering aspect, whether it's manufacturing or working with their hands, I do whatever I can to uh, sponsor them, um, give them an internship, uh, anything that I can to um, make them aware of what manufacturing is. Not everything is just machining, right? So you have accounting, you have um, marketing, you have quoting, you have sales, you have CAD, which is engineering, CAD CAM, um, you have quality control. I mean, there's so many different areas of what manufacturing is. And so um, I do what I can to bring them in. Another example, Hannah had no idea what manufacturing was and she's been with me for about a year and she's worked in a lot of different divisions. Um, so I think getting with your high schools and seeing if that's a program that they're um, wanting to fulfill. I mean, I, I would love to do more of them, but you have to have your superintendents involved as well as your principals that want to be able to um, do that program with you. We're in banking. 